Hello there, and welcome to another episode where we sink anything that floats. So our target is still this convoy that's coming through the Danish Straits. Let's see if we can manage to intercept it. And we should manage to do so. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, I think we're in a good position here. We have a new sonar contact bearing 245 designated Sierra 1. There's a very weak surface duct, no thermal layer, night time. Okay, that's actually good. All hands man battle stations. So first things first, local conditions. The promised thermal layer is actually not present. Okay, let's do the following. Let's turn towards them. That's the first thing we'll do. Yeah, it is indeed night time. That's gonna help us a little bit, I think. And we have already targets appearing. Quite a lot of them. So, let's come up to periscope depth. Just in case that we need to use our periscope. Yeah, a lot of contacts are manifesting and we have the first confirmed enemy warship. The good thing is, they are still far away, 22.6 kilometers, that's very good. Another banner, Charles of Adams. Okay. Wow, okay. There's a lot of escorts here. Hmm. Let's check my weapon situation. We have five Wacoming torpedoes. And now the cargo ships are starting to appear. I guess there will be four of them. Well, maybe more. They are still in Sierra 10 back here. Ulrich. Okay. There's an Ulrich in the area. That's complicating things slightly. The enemy warships are starting to enter my engagement envelope here. So how will we proceed? First of all, let me slow down a little bit. And let's wait until the Sierra 10 is identified. I could load my wakehoming torpedoes. That might be a good idea in this case. I will keep one in reserve. By shooting those into the convoy, I think I should get some good results. There's no way any one of these ships knows I'm here. This will be a nice ambush. Um, I would try to raise my ESM mast, however, I'm not doing that. Because it could give away my position and for the moment I'm holding all the cards. And I'm not about to risk that. Let's also prepare to launch missiles. This will be a combined torpedo and missile attack. We are going super slow. So the first torpedo is being loaded here. Nice. If I were to fire that, it would still be out of range. Okay, so we need to get him a little bit closer. 
as soon as I start to shoot torpedoes, they will of course turn around, so let's go up to five knots. Let's close the gap. Also, um, do I want to get in front of them? I think I do. Go down for 30 meters. Hmm. So after this attack, I most likely will have to go home. Because I will be expending a lot of torpedoes. Let me actually load an SCT-65 in this tube. I want to check something. I want to check the range on this thing. This is still gonna take some time, so let's speed it up. Good, 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 good. This is good, okay. Yeah, the range on these things is about 15 kilometers as well. No surprises. Okay, I have to let them come closer. Let's use some time compression. Have them close in a little bit. This Bernab, look how he's going out wide. They are maintaining a good protection here. Gotta give them that. Why are they turning? As I said, there's no way they spotted me. There's also no way for them to detect me. I think this is just a very big zig before they zag again. Or a scheduled course change. However, it's putting me in a difficult situation. Yeah, my torpedoes are not in range. Okay, we have to increase our speed. I don't really like to do that, but it can't be helped in this instance. This Garcia might actually pick me up. This Garcia has a toad sonar. Oh, damn you. Okay. I cannot do this. They will detect me. Let's go a little bit slower. We are still closing the distance though. But this Garcia... <laughs> yeah, he is an issue. He will also be the first one to pick up the torpedoes. Uh, let me think about how I'm going to approach this. First of all, let's switch to silent running. Let's make sure that we do not get detected by this thing. Uh, to ensure that, let's point ourselves directly at him. That will help. The launch transients for my weapons will still be detected immediately. Yeah, well, I'm starting to get in range here. We are getting there. Absolutely. Now I'll maintain the track on this Garcia. Just turning, 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 and getting closer. We are doing well so far. Alright. Come over here. Yeah, and they're going back this way. That's helping me. What is this burn up doing? Is he getting any return on active? It could be possible, yes, okay. In that case, go down, 107 meters. No, do I wanna do that? Do I want to do this? Yes, I think I do. We'll go deep, we launch our torpedoes. Actually, 
this one. Oh, what the hell, I'll use it. We'll go deep, we will launch our torpedoes. And then we'll come up to periscope depth again to fire missiles. That's the plan. Will that plan work? I don't know. We'll try to make it work though. For now, we are changing depth. Going deeper. Uh, 107. Yeah, okay, 107. I think we can still fire these uh, torpedoes at that depth. Okay, that burn up turned around. So he's not going after me. Good to know. Oh, this Garcia, he can hear me. Hello! Oh, that's bad. So by going deeper, I gave him a better picture of my submarine, of my position. Uh, in that case... I was thinking that down here the water pressure would be a little bit better at masking my launch transients. Uh, that did not work, so... Here we go. Torpedo out. Torpedo out. There's a submarine in the area. Submarine in the area. And this torpedo zigzag pattern go to here. Okay. Right now, come up the periscope depth. Stealth is optional at this point. Start reloading. Missile drop torpedoes in the area. Okay, one in front of me, one behind me. They burkered at my position. Noise maker in the water already. Uh, that's the Garcia. He's launching. The Garcia is launching torpedoes. Cargo ships have turned around. I am almost at depth to start blazing a wave of missiles. This Garcia will be a prime target. Stop cavitating, please. I first want to check uh, where exactly did I order this torpedo to activate. Might it pick up the Garcia? Not sure about that though. There's a Goopy. Really? Oh my god. He's not a danger at all. Disregard the Goopy. I can deal with him. So what will happen with this torpedo? This Garcia needs to go. If this torpedo can't get it, then I will fire a missile. Helicopter. I think I heard one. Yeah, I think I heard a helicopter. Okay, this Garcia is not being tracked by a torpedo. I think this torpedo won't hit anything. Uh, does the Garcia have anti-missile weaponry? It does. Not great. Not a great target. Not a great target at all. Maybe... More noisemakers? Okay. I'm thinking about taking out the Garcia and this Balna back here. If I do that, the front of the convoy is gone. What's happening here? One of the enemy torpedoes has activated. Almost in range of the Garcia. That would have been funny. Alright. Oh, 
All right. Yeah, we are doing this. Garcia is one of the most dangerous ships to me in this group, so it has to go. Oh, it's within minimum range though. Damn it. Okay. I gotta wait. No problem. While we wait, we'll just change our position here. And we'll go a little bit deeper. The Guppy is dropping noisemakers. They are in quite the panic mode here. Which is fine by me. I have one torpedo who started going after something. Good, good, I like that. Another torpedo has activated and is doing weird things. I think it's spiraling upward. Or maybe it did track something. Oh yes, these torpedoes are on the military transport, I think. Well, we'll see. We will see. For now, though. Goopy is cavitating. Let's take a look at the Goopy. Look at him. This thing is basically World War II technology. So he is no threat at all to me. Goopy, where are you? There you are. Goopy. 17.5 knots maximum speed. That's actually not half bad. I gotta admit. But yeah. He's no competition. Okay, I have to look out for these torpedoes that are coming towards me. Oh wow. This Belnap has turned around. The Garcia has started to turn. These torpedoes might get awfully close to me. I hope that these two uh, wake-homing torpedoes can actually catch their targets before they run out of steam. Hmm. We will see. I will try to thread the needle here, so to speak. Turn around. I don't want to present my screws to this Garcia and to this oncoming Belnap. So that's another reason to turn around here. Will these torpedoes hit? Let's have a look. Ah, it's getting close. It won't have to zigzag for much longer. I think on the next turn it will pick up the target itself and from then on it will be coming at it in a straight line. Let's have a look. There comes the turn. And the torpedo is on the target. So he is pretty much doomed at this point. Let's see. Oh yeah. Poor thing. Nice. That's one military transport down. And our second wake homing torpedo here. It's on a US cargo. Ah, uh, once again, a few more turns and it will have picked up the target. One wake homing torpedo just went. Just went his way. He won't pick up anything. More torpedoes are dropped here in the area. The enemy is panicking a little bit, which is good. Which is perfectly good. Ah, uh, here comes the torpedo. Coming after you. And I gotta watch out because these torpedoes are getting quite close to me. Okay, torpedo is on the target once again. 
this time it's a small cargo ship Ah, oh, look at that burning one in the background that's nice very nice let's take a picture very nice Contact breaking up, that's what I want to see. Now there's one little teeny inzy bitty issue here. Uh, first of all, that torpedo that is coming at me. And that we really want to get out of the way of, so let's do a little bit of a speed change. And then there's these two ships that are still within minimum range for my missiles. So I can't use those. Will I have a problem with this torpedo? I might. Should be nearly out of steam though. That's dangerous. Oh, it's down there. The torpedo is searching for me down there. Wow, it's, it's pretty close though. It might pick me up now. It's coming around. Did I just get out of its search cone? I absolutely did. This is beautiful. Silent running again, please. More torpedoes are being dropped into the area. The enemy is pretty scared. Okay, I still have this uh, torpedo here. That's on a zigzag course, searching for targets. I don't think it will pick up anything. I think it will run out of steam before it has a chance to do so. Belknap and Garcia, how will I get rid of you? How indeed? 3.8 kilometers. That's pretty close. That's actually very close here. Let's turn towards them. Wow, look at that behind me. A whole spread of torpedoes. I guess they got my range wrong. Oh, will this Belnap run into problems for itself? Look at this little opportunity that is starting to present itself here. The Belnap is going fast enough that it might not be detecting this torpedo. Uh, never mind, torpedo detonated. However, the burn-up is close enough for me to have some fun with it and with the Garcia. 5.1 kilometers. Might work. Garcia is going pretty fast. So if I put this torpedo here, might do something. Let's try. Torpedo away against the Garcia. Torpedo. Let's wait to see what the burn-up does. Starting to turn. Torpedo away. Two torpedoes away. Turn off, turn off. Avoid the Garcia's torpedoes. Start reloading weapons. If I manage to sink these two guys, I can start blazing away with missiles. Hold this course. I'm pretty sure I'll get the Bandit with a torpedo. Will I get the Garcia though? I don't know. We will see. The Garcia, did, they, did the Garcia launch at these countermeasures or did, hmm, what's happening here? It might have, however the Belknap is absolutely, well, okay I'm not 100% sure that the torpedo will be close enough to the Belknap to pick up its wake. Let's hope it does. I think it should. The wake is pretty long 
and I think the torpedo is here in time to pick it up. And the burn-up is actually turning towards me. Yeah, that torpedo has picked up the wake. Good job. Please turn the right way. Please turn at all. Yeah, there we go. That torpedo is on the hunt. Hello, Burnap. This one is coming in for the Garcia. It's not looking bad. It's actually looking pretty good. So I think we will have another hit here. Is this Burnap gonna come close enough that I can torpedo it? Good question. Ah, the Garcia has started to turn now. Might be a little late though. Yeah, Torpedo has identified the ship's wake. Good job. Very good job. And this one is still chasing after the burn-up. Oh, the torpedo that's on the Garcia is doing a great job. It should manage to catch it very soon because it's not far behind. It will actually cut off the Garcia if it keeps going this way. A very good result. Oh yes, this torpedo is continuing straight through and it has picked up the Garcia. So there we go, Garcia in trouble, Belknap, what? Close to trouble as well. Noisemaker is not gonna help you, my dear. And here comes Mr. Torpedo, say goodbye. And farewell. Oh. Opportunities! Ban up directly in front of me. Torpedo! Go! And I go deep. This is a guaranteed hit. Here comes the torpedo. Yeah. That's one hit. And here comes the second one. That will be able to catch up much faster now. Because the burn-up will be slowing down. Yeah. Engine room hit. This thing is doomed. Uh, come up to periscope depth, prepare for missile fire. Turn back towards the convoy. Okay. Torpedo has identified the target. He's going down. There we go, nice hit. Two targets sunk. And we are coming up to periscope depth. Uh, we will most likely use our radar here. Uh, in retrospect, I maybe should have used... I should have used my 400mm torpedo to get this banner. But I wanted to make sure. Okay, Charles of Adams is coming back towards me. This banner is turning back towards me. 
I'm sorry guys, but um, there's an issue with that plan of yours, and that issue is called missiles. Okay. Where is the radar mast? Radar is up. Get me good solutions on everybody. Is this looking good? Yeah, that's everybody. Let's start. You get a missile. You get a missile. You get a missile. And... So do you. Did I fire this banner already? Let's see, four missiles out. One, two, three, four. No, I didn't. Uh, can't miss that, right? Missile out. Helicopter. Radar down, let's go, let's go. Let's leave the area. One banner down. One shot of Adams down. Cargo down. Another cargo down. And there's just one burn-up remaining. Come on. Come on, last missile. Get him. I won't hesitate to fire another missile at that thing if this one doesn't hit. No, apparently that last missile did not hit. Huh. How far away is he? 25 kilometers. Whoa! Back to periscope depth, I guess. Good contact on the Goopy. We will go and sink him as well. We'll do a complete clean sweep because we'll have to go back to port anyway. Might as well use the weapons. We establish contact with the Bernab. That's good. Lost the Goopy for the moment. Doesn't matter. Okay, coming up fast here. At what depth do I need to be before I can fire? I need to be above 30 meters. No problem, let's speed up time just a little bit here. Alright, I will have to raise the radar mast again. Almost at periscope depth. Helicopter. Damn it, he's near. He's very near. Oh, do I dare? Do I dare to fire? If I do it quick enough, I can fire and get down. No issues. Where's radar? Dive, dive, dive. Dive, 
Five, come on. Helicopter is pretty much above me. Set depth to 250. And let's watch our missile here. It's going in towards the Belknap. Reduce speed. Missile is coming in. Come on, pick up the target. Activate. Oh, did I set the activation point too close? No, it's fine. Missile is coming in. Chef is being deployed. However... Oh wow, it defeated the missile. Missile is coming around for another strike. No. Defeated by countermeasures, God damn it! In that case... Let's get it with another shot. Let's go up again. Tease the helicopter. Get through some time compression. The sonar boy in front of me. That's fine. Okay, almost in position. Load another missile. I don't think it will be able to evade again. Do have good position on target, so I do not need radar at this moment. Missile. Go. Set depth. 250. Let's cavitate a little bit, come on. That's fine. That's fine, that cavitation will stop pretty soon. There we go. I lost contact on the Belknap, unfortunate. So, following the missile does not make too much sense. We'll just hope that we will get him this time. Okay, now turn. Change course. We establish contact with the Belknap. Okay. Okay, we are following the missile. There he is. And this is looking good this time. There we go. That's the Belknap down. Awesome! All surface targets sunk. We are now going after this Guppy. Well, well, well. Let's use a little bit of time compression to close in on him. The thing with the Goopy right now is, it's in an area with a lot of noise, because of all the wrecks. Um, that might help the Goopy a little bit. However, not when he does that. Go active. No returns. There we go. Contact is being established. The Guppy is quite far above me. Come up in depth to about 100 meters. Speed up. Let's gain some speed here. 
And let's start turning away from the Guppy. Okay, we are coming up to a depth where my torpedo will pick up the target because if I fire down there, the Guppy might have just passed above the search cone of my torpedo. So that's why we have to come up before we can fire. Should I use the 400mm torpedoes? I might. I mean, why not? It's only a Guppy. Slow down. He has wires. Oh, he absolutely does have wires. Fire. And start reloading. Also, turn. More torpedoes. Yeah, and they are turning. He is guiding them. Well, no worries. His wires will be gone in a moment. Actually, turn back this way. Let him turn the torpedoes while he still has the wires. And once I realize that he has lost them, I will make another turn. My guess is the wires are gone by now. Increase speed, turn. Dive, 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 dive. Come on. Does he still have wires? No, I don't think he has wires anymore. Yeah, he has lost the wires and I should be able to get out of the way of these torpedoes. And close in with him. Okay. One of his torpedoes has just gone active. That's fine though. And I defeated his whole salvo here. No issues. Oh well, these 400mm torpedoes, I'm still not sure what to do with them. They are just so damn slow, as you can see. One of the big fishes would already have been at his position. Okay. Close distance. Let's see if we can get into his baffles. And stopping him. For the moment, he's making so much noise that we can pick him up no problems. He might now have trouble picking us up though. Let's check that. No, he can pick us up. We are making a lot of noise as well. He may be old tech, but old tech still works, right? However, we defeated all of his torpedoes. That's the main important part here. And we are now closing the distance. We could actually go ahead and fire another one of these into his path. Slow down. Slow all the way down, please. 
Wow, look at this deflection that I have to use. Well, damn. Okay. Shoot like... Shoot like this then. Torpedo is out of the tube. We load another one. I'll use up these 400mm torpedoes. They are not much use anyway. And if I might be able to hit a guppy with them, I think that's the best result I can get. Okay. Guppy's out. Uh, I mean, the torpedo on the guppy's out. Let's speed up again. Try to close the distance. We can go faster than he can. We can almost go faster than this torpedo. Let's use a little bit of time compression. Okay, he is launching more torpedoes. He's launching a spread towards us. I doubt that he has wires on them. So the best thing that we can do is turn this way. Increase speed. No, he still has wires. Oh yeah, he definitely has wires. Doesn't matter. We are turning this way. I mean, he should be you. Yeah, he should be losing those wires. He absolutely should. And I think they are indeed gone. Yeah, he's not adjusting. The wires are gone. Okay. Continue the turn. And let's get behind him. The best place to be in this case. Turn this way. Keep up the speed. Keep him running. If he continues to run, he'll run right into the path of this torpedo. He's 2.1 kilometers away. We could get him easily with one of these torpedoes. Hmm. I'm debating with myself. Should I fire one of these and be done with it? Or should I try to use these 400mm anti-submarine torpedoes? Well, well, well. I'd say we will first get behind him and then we'll think about what we are doing. Okay, come, close the distance. I'm not in his baffles directly, and that's on purpose. If I get into his baffles now, he might start to turn, which might throw off my torpedoes, so I'm not prepared to do it right now. I'm still hoping that this thing can do something. Let's use a little bit of time compression. We are closing the distance to him so fast. Actually, too fast. Let's slow down. Because my torpedo has just acquired the target, I think. Yes, it has, absolutely. It's going for it. So, we will now slow down and watch. Wow, this thing is so slow. I don't know if it will be enough to sink him. I think it will. He's still running. He's still trying to run. But 18 knots is just not fast enough, my friend. Even this slow thing here is fast enough to catch you. And that will be a kill. Or... Or we are playing the countermeasure game. Ah, well, this could still be a hit. This could still be a hit. I don't think the Guppy... Well, yes, he has enough depth to play with, I think. Yeah, okay. Good evasion. Good evasion. Torpedo is still coming, though, but it will pass below him. 
guess that's torpedo defeated right there. Let's put in another one into the area. One more torpedo out. Uh, this torpedo is going for this noisemaker again. That's fine though. Absolutely fine. My hope is it will turn around and keep the goopy turning in this area. Well, of course it turned the wrong way. Oh, damn it. What's it doing now? I think it's just going through these countermeasures now. Oh yeah, directly going for that one. Awesome job. Hmm. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. These torpedoes are just too slow. Too slow to be good at their job, I guess you can call it. And uh, preferring to turn the wrong way, apparently. Let's wait a little bit, but if this Goopy gets any closer, I have to blast it with one of my conventional torpedoes. At what depth am I? He's above me, isn't he? Oh yes, he absolutely is. He's basically on the surface. Okay, I can stay down here for a little bit. This has still a chance of succeeding. Unless... the torpedo is doing stupid things. Well, well, well. Let's see. Goopy is shooting torpedoes. Not sure at what, though. Can these things even reach me down here? I guess they can. And he has wires. I should finish him off, shouldn't I? Well? Never mind. Never mind. He sunk himself. I don't know how he did it. Good job. Wow. I have no idea how that happened. What did you do? Let's see. Hmm. You must have been going a little bit too fast for your own good, right? Torpedo on me? Where? 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 Where is it coming from? Up there. Noisemaker in the water. Turn left. Turn left, full rudder. Of course it's turning this way. Turn left again. Um, Noisemaker, there we go. Yeah, the torpedo will follow the noisemaker instead of me. And we are getting the hell out of here. I do not want to broach. Go this way. And keep going fast, I don't care that I'm making noise. Yeah, okay, I think we defeated it. Yeah, this is looking good. It's going after the noisemakers. Successful evasion thanks to our decoy that we got to use this time. Nice. I'm happy with that. That's good. Okay, let's keep going for a while until these torpedoes stop what they're doing. Should be gone soon. 
we can go to silent running, make sure that there's no helicopter chasing us or something like that. And once this torpedo has run out of steam, we can end the mission. Or can we maybe end it now? No, still weapons nearby. Okay. Time compression. I think that's it. Yeah. Alright. Awesome. Leave combat. We have sunk. One, two, three burn-ups. One Charles F. Adams. One Garcia. One military transport, two small cargoes, one cargo, and a guppy. Awesome. I'm happy with that result. Okay, keep on completing the mission. If you say so, but first I'm going back to port. So let's do that. Let's get out of the area before reinforcements show up. Okay, so far this is looking good. I think... Yeah, I think we are safe here. Running home. Oh, there's another cargo convoy coming towards the Danish Straits. I don't think I'll be able to catch it. Shame. And we are back at Murmansk. 1,800,054 tons sunk so far. In total... 161 ships and submarines sunk. Wow. 162 days at war. Let's stock up for another trip. Now, what do we take? Of course, we are taking more missiles. Oops. A radio message has arrived from the Navy command and it's being decoded. Await new orders. Okay. What happened? Soviet submarines are hunting. Sources close to the command of the Soviet Navy report a change in priorities in the deployment of submarines during the war at sea. The details are, for obvious reasons, unknown. The Soviet Navy continues to exert a serious influence on the course of the war by intensifying the operations of its submarine forces and shifting the center of gravity of these operations to a new area. It is expected that the successful actions of Soviet boats in this area will allow the USSR to achieve a preponderance in the war at sea. This is sounding good, right? I guess that's mission success. What is going on? To thwart NATO's plans, the Naval Command decided to deliver and land a special forces team on a submarine in the vicinity of... Mm, okay. Where it will conduct reconnaissance and sabotage activities behind enemy lines. Therefore, you must arrive in the Amsterdam. No, not Amsterdam again. And drop off special forces in the drop-off area. Okay. Of course, we are not taking a SWAT team, we are taking a Spetsnaz team or something like that. Or a GRU team. Swim to Amsterdam discreetly and release the team. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, our navigators are masterclass specialists. Target motion analysis 120%. That's why we are able to um, identify targets so fast. Periscope auto position error 0%, periscope auto position speed 120%. So if we raise our periscope, it will most likely be directly pointed at the target that we have selected. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I like this. Uh, let's continue. And it's good that this order did reach us in port because we can immediately go and load spec ops and that will reduce the number of available torpedo tubes quite drastically. So at this point I have three of those. Wow, okay. I hate to do this but I gotta do this to stay realistic basically. No, I'm taking decoys for this one. Yeah, three SCT-65 torpedoes. They are general purpose and we can use them against anything. Do I throw out the SAET-60M? This is a torpedo intended to be fired at surface targets that are hunting you. But I think the SCT-65 is better overall. 
or even one of the wake homing torpedoes. I think we'll drop the... No. We'll drop... Damn you. Oh, okay, I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay. We'll drop this one. We'll load you. And we will load you into these tubes. 21 hours in port. I think that's fine. We should still be within our time limit. Cast off anchors. And here we go. Now we will be on our way to Amsterdam. In the North Sea. To release this special operations team. And I really hate to do this because the waters are so incredibly shallow down there. That is an extremely dangerous mission. That could very well be the end of our campaign. It really could. That's just so dangerous. Will we survive this? I guess we'll see in the next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching and for taking the time to do this. I have enjoyed today's episode and I hope so did you. Until next week, have some great days and goodbye.